Hi, I'm Nikki, and I'm here on behalf of First Updates Now with Team 2468 Appreciate at Austin District Event. And I'm here with Zach, James, Sonia, and Christina, and we're going to learn a little bit more about their team and about the robot. So, Zach, you want to tell us about the robot? Yeah, so this year we focused our robot strategy on being able to play all aspects of the game. So we've got a dual intake on the front for both cargo and panels. We've got our elevator so we can reach all levels to score. We've got our double uh, climber mechanism, so the arm in the back and those stilts there that lifts us all the way up on the HAB 3. And we've got a very versatile drivetrain that allows us to do everything we want in a match. That sounds awesome. Now, James, you were telling us earlier about how modular your robot is and how many iterations it has gone, specifically with your intake. Can you tell us a little more about that? So because we moved to the district model, we wanted to make sure that everything on our robot is really easily maintainable. So we've actually gone through 20 iterations of our intake system. Uh, and it's as easy as unscrewing the piston uh, screw, and we can uh, pop it out and swap in a new module. So see, these are some of our iterations. And so everything's, everything's really fast, everything's really modular. That's what we were going for this year. Awesome. Now we're going to move to non-technical stuff. So Sonia, you have the lily pad in a box, or the in a box methodology. Can you tell us more about that? For sure. So at 246A, we um, put all of our initiatives in a box to allow other uh, first teams to adopt our initiatives. So for example, the lily pad initiative, um, we put in a nice guideline format that any team can use. Find it on our website. And it allows teams to adopt these initiatives as their own. Um, and here we have the lily tool, which makes it really easy for teams to actually create their own lily pads wherever they are. All right, that's pretty cool. Thank you for packaging it in such a nice way for other teams to use. Of course. So we're going to talk to Christina about the STEM Connect camps. Yes, so the STEM Connect camps are also something that we have put into a box. We have STEM Connect in a box, which is just another documentation of all the steps of how you can build a camp that is at your corporate sponsored locations so that you can fund your team and also improve your relationship with your corporate sponsors. In addition to these camps, we actually innovated a $30 uh, take home robot kit just because we had been using EV3s and a lot of the students were expressing how they wanted to take it home and keep learning. So they're able to do this with what we call Robux. Um, it's just a $30 kit that's included in the cost in the camp and after they've spent a full week of learning how to use it, they get to take it home and keep exploring. That is incredible. Thank you guys once again for talking to us about your robot and your initiatives. Once again, this has been Zach, James, Sonia, and Christina from 2468. And this has been Behind the Bumpers.